good morning ma'am good morning one and all we all welcoming on behalf of faculty of yoga science and therapy meenachi academy of higher education and research as a part of epg pathasala and consortium for educational communication today we have a special online webinar lecture is going to be present by mrs t sujatha assistant professor of faculty of yoga science and therapy meenachi academy of higher education and research we welcome you ma'am ma today ma'am is going to take the topic of yoga for children before hand over to ma'am participants at the end we have a section for questions so i request all the participants to put your questions in the chat box and at the end we can discuss this ma'am will clear all your questions now i hand over to sujatha ma'am ma'am over to you ma'am Good morning, one and all. First of all, I would like to thank for giving this opportunity, Dr. Elongover, our HOD, Mahar, and then uh, the host of this uh, event, Jay Kumari, and then to all. Zoom again. Let's start the class. Today I am going to present about children's yoga. Childhood is the time where every the cell and tissue and organ is growing children are actually natural yogis they have good posture ability to breathe deeply and then they and then they have um, attitude to towards life or things that they were born in yoga is the best way that we don't forget this healthy ways of moving breathing and be we can learn from children how to breathe how to how to move your body and uh, to keep your posture like that okay that actually in the when child is born they are having created bones but uh, adults adults may have uh, 206 bones but at the by birth they are having 300 bones they are more flexible they are, they are very uh, their bones are very supple so we have to take care of them um, to prevent fractures while doing uh, yogic practices and then during childhood they are growing no? their cartilage also growing and slowly uh, their bones will be um, merged uh, with the cartilage it is by the with the help of calcium so calcium is for, very important for them uh, for the bone strength then every child is the uh, born in the situation uh, like they they will improve gradually depending on the factors where uh, they are leading okay every child has the same health equal health when they born they are very healthy by the uh, by the birth itself but afterwards, uh, when while growing, they, their health changes by the environment, how they are growing up, what they are uh, 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 feeding, like that. So, yogic uh, practices help them to improve their health and then to maintain the same health as they by by uh, as they are by born. Okay. They love, the actual children love challenges, fun, like that. Children, children are uh, present and future. Parents, grand, uh, like in our house, no? parents, grandparents, aunties, uncles, all are committed to provide every advantage possible to the children in their families. And they, they have to um, provide the health 
health to children and they have to make opportunities to need their fulfill uh, of their children or uh, potential okay the well being of the child is extremely important as children are the future of our country everyone should be much concerned about yoga in a child during their childhood days habits developed during this phase of life prevail for long long life and children become more active about spreading the gained knowledge to others if they are children if children are um, like they are they practice in the childhood itself and then by growing up when they become adults they will also spread that knowledge to the generations and then to their neighbors like that friends like that okay the physical wellness involves overall structure of the child it is the related to the complete health including height weight fitness physical health directly influences the children's working ability uh, yoga uh, with the with the correct breathing and posture uh, some children are very hyperactive by correcting the uh, breathing and posture they can um, be corrected like they can be, uh, become calm and like focused uh, that was dull children sluggish state of mind and then inactive children they will also become active uh, by doing yogic practices in recent uh, in recent year scientific research also showed that the effect of yoga on children's health um, there are many evidences that regular practice of yoga can keep the children healthy by boosting the immune system at optimum levels yoga also helps children to develop strong flexible bodies an excellent sense of balance and coordination and feeling of confidence and grace in their movements keeps them yoga helps uh, to keeps them healthy and fights off the diseases by strengthening strengthening the immune system there are many benefits by um, when children do regular yogic practices they have to do yogic practices through a qualified person they can derive these benefits they follow like benefits the symmetrical development of the entire physical constitution optimum flexibility of the joints required strength of the muscles enhanced physiological capability of all inner organs then increased pot, uh, potency of immune and neurological systems increased attention memory and balanced state of mind they bubble with enormous energy and vitality yoga utilizes them for their growth their mind is being formed and firmly get established yoga prepares the ground and enhances the attention concentration memory overall yoga encourages uh, body awareness self esteem that um, we can give them there is one way of teaching like chin, children's vinyasa this is uh, founded by legendary master t krishna macharya okay he perfected on perfected it into an art as uh, children's uh, yoga as srishti krama srishti krama is the yoga which helps the idol all round growth the physiological systems are getting strength strengthened yoga poses adequate challenges to promote this strengthening process he formulated uh, srishti krama mm, uh, in the way that children can uh, are enjoyable and then uh, they, they will grow healthy they focus more on other activities like uh, studies like uh, like that okay the unique traditional way of teaching yoga taking children is called srishti krama where in the methodology it is also called vinyasa krama it has all daily uh, delicacies that every child would love to practice like uh, they uh, it can uh, children's vinyasa has stretches jumps balances challenges uh, then deep breaths suspension of breaths chants then fun and everything 
um, so krishna macharya says that um, that he used to give uh, for children more back arch asanas which helps to increase height uh, like uta uh, like and then he uh, we can fix goal asanas like we you can fix some any one like chakrasana today we, you can fix goal asana for that asana you have to um, teach the vinyasa way first like they have to, for chakrasana their shoulders um, be Uh, flexible and then their low back should be uh, you have to work on low back and then um, their neck everything that their chest has to open like this uh, like that we have to uh, um, we have to plan the course how to how to achieve the final goal uh, chakrasana like you can fix natrajasana then hanuman asana like if you fix hanuman asana you have to uh, give some like uh, asanas on drawing opening like pasakona asana and then prasarita pada uttana asana then like um, uh, then uh, like uh, like opening butterfly pose like uh, climb in dynamic way like that you have to fix some some of the asanas in and to achieve hanuman asana one day you will achieve virabhadra asana like that. then uh, he used to teach pranayama along with the asanas like he introduced uh, we can introduce some chants then bubbles like um, uh, if you teach six times the same asana they they like enjoy dynamic way of asanas children like the vinyasa way like first you have to teach um, like if you do uh, uttana asana what do you say pada hasta asana first time you have to touch your toes one time then second time you have to touch your uh, toe two times like that you can keep or otherwise you can keep trikona asana if you teach trikona asana you keep six pebbles one side okay if you go and bend trikona asana to other side you take the pebble and then keep, uh, while coming to other side keep other side so all the pebbles you keep uh, you kept on one side will come to other side they they will enjoy like these kinds of um, like uh, like teaching like this okay then uh, you can teach anganyasa anganyasa means like uh, you can introduce some mantras like ayur mantra um, then uh, uh, meditation if you give meditation you can give them reverse counting it will for a give focus and um, clapping hands right left and up like that so first of all first if you want to prepare for surya namaskar there is a vinyasa way of teaching first for uh, directly you can't teach surya namaskar first you have to prepare for surya namaskar for that this is the uh, Uh, some example course like first you teach tadasana sorry uh, tadasana then parsvottanasana then again uttanasana then trikonasana twist then ukkatasana then again you give for that counter uttanasana like shashankasana shashankasana you have to teach in vajrasana and then up and then uh bend forward to uh, balasana or shashankasana then you can introduce one more uh, like you teach single asanas first no you combine now two asanas like uh, ba- shashankasana to vyagarasana like that you have to teach again you introduce one more asana uh, urdhva uh, sorry adhomukha svanasana introduce then vajrasana then balasana then like that you have to te- introduce one 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 asana each day like that or otherwise you can teach if students are coming for long days you can you can teach as it is like uh, again you can teach urdhva adhomukha to urdhva mukha then chaturanga dandasana this is the way you have to develop and then uh, introduce one leg forward ashra sanchalasana after uh, urdhva uh, mukha again adho mukha you can introduce ashra sanchalasana uh, then um, chaturanga dandasana then again you come back to vajrasana vajrasana then you introduce standing surya namaskar slowly slowly you have to do that 
uh, they will enjoy like this way of teaching if you daily you uh, evenly if you teach surya namaskar 12 times they will get bored so you have to uh, make them fun okay mm, if you want to develop the flexibility of the children first you teach single asana like uh, one one asana like tadasana bhagirath asana karukasana like then you introduce two asanas combine combination vinyasa method pasa uttanasana veerabhadrasana like this introduce two two asanas then they can achieve that is uh, like three asanas where it is three asanas like here you can see ardha uttanasana to ukatasana okay then you can introduce uh three three asanas four asanas like before i said no balasana vyagarasana adomukasmanasana vajrasana everything here you can introduce then afterwards you can introduce jumping okay like from uttanasana this is uttanasana you uh, another tradition called padahastasana then in, uh, from padahastasana you have, you have to jump to chatragadantasana not ashtanga namaskar chatranga tantas only two hands and two legs will be on the floor otherwise body should be straight okay like that the stick that is chatranga tantas then again inhale and exhale mountain then and again inhale uh udho mukha then again jump like that you have to do hmm, sorry mountain to pada hastasana you have to jump like that i afterwards you can introduce like jumping to dandasana from adho mukha to dandasana you have directly jump to dandasana then you do pachmottanasana seated asana and come back to again adho mukha like that you can give in a vinyasa way they will enjoy each and every day if you give, give like five asanas to in this way like one session it will uh, we can finish like so you have to fix one goal for that you have to develop from the beginning like first you give single asanas then two asanas like that you have to combine afterwards you have to give vinyasa way of jumping uh, jumping uttana vinyasa what we call is uttara vinyasa method then that uh, right leg forward left leg forward in surya namaskar nashra sanchalasana it will be difficult for some students okay if you develop that one okay then only you will get uh, netrapadasana everything you, if you want to develop like natarajasana for that we have to adho mukha we have to raise your one leg and then uh, from the beginning itself from standing uttana uh, standing samasthiti itself you raise one leg and then inhale then exhale again uh, padahastasana you keep the leg raised up only okay then afterwards uh, holding that question hold and jump to chatranga tantasana then you have you don't keep your leg down like that leg will be raised up only okay one leg raise up then in that in that uh, pose itself urdhva mukha then again adho mukha one leg up then again jump to uttanasana then come back to samasthiti like that you have to teach them then you can keep one leg in front also like in the same way you first you keep in the one leg up no then afterwards you can introduce one leg in the like um, you have to hold like padmasana ardha padmasana then stand and then forward back like chatranga dandasana and then urdhva mukha svanasana adho mukha svanasana again jump to uttanasana and then uh, come up and then come to samasthiti like that you have to do everything uh, in this way if you advanced students they can do like um, their like on in the neck itself shoulder itself like nindrapadas like that also they can introduce this is the way of teaching vinyasa okay all asanas can be teach in this way if you want to do uh, like vasisthasana vasisthasana you can go to like the same way you have to jump chaturanga dandasana then adho mukha then urdhva mukha then in that way you have to turn both legs and then raise your arm that is this is called vasisthasana in that you can raise your leg also for this leg uh, raising flexibility you, you developed from the beginning itself 
like uh, Adobe Mocha, we, uh, we have, you have to give, like guys, you have to develop from the beginning itself, okay? This is called the fixing of asanas. Uh, fixing the goal asana, and you have, if you want to uh, keep goal on Vasist asana, for the Vasist asana, you, you must have strength in the arms. For that, you have, we have to give uh, choose asanas in the beginning itself, okay? Like Adho Mukha Svanasana, then Dandasana, then Lolasana. These and all will give arm strength for children. Urdhva Mukha, then Adho Mukha to Urdhva Mukha. In a dynamic way, we can give with the warm up like that. Okay, then if you want to do Pincha Mayurasana, in the kneeling sequence itself, we can give from Vajrasana, layer, then uh, knee lap, then forward bed then mountain pose. Then like that you have to walk front. From the mountain you have to walk, walk, walk and then directly go to raise your um, body up, up to chest level. Then raise your slowly body up. This is Pencha Mayurasana. Slowly come back to the Vajrasana. Then you, there is one mantra called Ayu Mantra. Children will enjoy if you give this mantra in each and every movement, like if you first moment you can give Om Ayudehi, relax. Next moment, in the next moment you can give Om Pranandehi. Then third time, Om Apanandehi. Like that, you have to. Give Sorry, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Ah, Sorry yeah. to disturb you. And uh, this meeting is going to be end in another five minutes. So I request all to again join again. Okay. And we will continue then, the section, ma'am. Okay. Then this Ayur Mantra, uh, we can keep in the seated position also, like Anganyasa. They can feel like Om Ayudehi means give me good health. Okay. Om Pranandehi means you have to keep your hands in chest. Okay. Then Om Apanandehi. Now my Apana should be, uh, should be nourished. Like that they have to keep in the, their uh, palms in Apana. They have to feel like that. Om Vyanandehi. Vyana means you have to feel whole body. Okay. They have to like this. Uh, do the uh, Anganyasa. Then Om Shrotram Dehi. Shrotram, they have children has to keep their hands on ears. Like Om Mano Dehi. Mano Dehi. Your mind should be nourished. Like that. Om Pacham Dehi. Like that. They have to uh, keep their uh, they have to feel their each and every part, each and what, what are the parts mentioned in this mantra, uh, they have to feel that. Then, Pratishtha Dehi, all I am offering to, um, may rest in that nourishment, Pratishtha Dehi. Then, Mom Dehi, I will be nourished, Mahi Dehi. Uh, may that nourishment be pleasure to others. My nourishment should be Pleasure to others. Okay. This is the, uh, this, in this mantra also children will enjoy. I used to give in my class. Um, then also you can give by three mantra. Yeah, like when inhale, oh, bhoot, bhoot, swaha. If you give that asana, no? When you, you raise your ass, oh, bhoot, bhoot, swaha. Then you have to stay there. Tashtra, vidur, varenyam, pargo, devashya, dimahi. Then we're coming. Like that, you can, you can uh, introduce chanting also, whatever chanting, hmm? like that, you, you can choose. Then they like uh, stories, okay? Uh, okay, Vijay Kumar, we will end, th end this now. Ah, yes, ma'am, we can end. And again, again, join.